Now welcome to all myself Professor Deshmukh Ms. presenting the early lectures based on the vibrations having the topic measurements of natural frequency of free vibrations. So in this case we have to see so what are the methods related with the measurement of the natural frequency particularly especially for the free vibrations so that we have to see now the before going to start any methods what is the natural frequency natural frequency is a simple method that the frequency relative with the free vibration that is called as what natural frequency means what frequency everybody knows that the number of oscillations per unit time that is called as what the natural frequency okay now the first case that is the natural frequency of free longitudinal vibrations what is longitudinal vibrations that we are already discussed in the case of the basic of vibrations that is a the vibrations along the length of directions that is called as what longitudinal vibration means called along the axis of any particular body that is called as what longitudinal vibrations now come to the our point methods of the vibration measurement first that is the equilibrium method second that is the frequency and energy method third that is the relay method so we will see these three by one by the term with the formulations first that is a, the equilibrium method so figure shows that the three images which contains that is unstrained positions then again strained positions okay equilibrium positions then again third that is a strained positions now first in the case where only the single uh, spring is exist there is a no mass we are attaching okay that we call it what unstrained positions now in the case of the b the mass is attached to the spring okay because of this particular the mass m that w is with the displacement of the mass from its uh, unstrained positions now this is the called as what equilibrium positions okay with weight s w is equal to mg now in the third case when we are applying particular force okay that is md2 square x upon dt square okay w is weight so s in delta plus x this is total displacement of the body so dotted line shows that this is the extreme position after the we are applying particular force okay same dotted line will be seen in the back uh, in the upward directions so the two forces are acting that is the m d 2 x upon d d square this is inertia forces and w is the weight of the body okay so these are the three positions related with the equilibrium methods now in this case again the storing force is equal to w minus s delta plus x okay so w is equal to w minus s into delta minus s delta so taking the upward directions negative downward direction positive acceleration that is m d2 upon d2 x upon d t square so what is this case that is a ma this is particular newton law of motions the equation of the motions of the body of the mass m after the time t is m d2 x upon d t square is equal to minus s x okay so d2 x upon d t square plus s upon m into x is equal to zero this is the equation number three now you know that fundamental equation of the symbol harmonic motions 
d2x upon dt square plus wx square into x is equal to 0. Now the comparing this equation number 3 with equation number 4. What we got? w is equal to under root of s upon m tp is equal to 2 pi upon omega that is equal to 2 pi in bracket m of m upon s. Now the natural frequency f n is equal to 1 upon tp is equal to 1 upon 2 pi s upon m ok yes that we call as what k ok s means what steepness 1 upon 2 pi g upon delta because of what at the equilibrium conditions look at this where it is the equilibrium conditions at the second positions w is equal to s into delta and w is equal to m into g s means what that particular stiffness of that particular body delta means what the deflection or the distance travel of the we are applying mass m so equation number 3 and 4 d2x upon dt square plus w square dot x is equal to 0 comparing equation number 3 and 4 we got the value of w w is equal to s under root of s upon m s is the stiffness w is what the natural frequency right natural angular motions s is stiffness of the body what is stiffness stiffness is quite easier that is the stiffness force required for unit deflection that is called what stiffness m is the mass of body time period tp is equal to 2 pi upon omega that is 2 pi under root of m upon s Now the natural frequency is nothing but the what the reciprocal of your time period. So Fn is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root of S by M that is equal to 1 upon 2 pi G upon delta. So taking the value of G as a 9.81 M upon S square and delta is in a meter. G is equal to everybody knows a 9.81 that is acceleration due to gravity delta in meters Fn is equal to 1 upon 2 by under root of 9 pi 81 that is g divided by delta so we got fn is equal to 0 0.49 85 under root of delta so this is the equation in the form of what in hertz so hertz is the frequency unit now the natural frequency of free transverse vibrations look at this this is the one of the shaft is connected to delta the shaft is connected to with mass m and it is fixed at the fixed support ok when we are applying some initial moment given some initial moment it having some deflection delta when we are applying mass m and x when we are applying the initial displacement so the force is acting inertia push m d2x upon dt square where step s into x, x, x is the spring core that is s means the stiffness of the body now with the discussion restoring force is equal to minus s into x where accelerating force that is inertia force m into d2x upon dt square now equation 1 and 2 the motion of motion becomes m d2 x upon d c d square that is equal to s minus s into x. So just putting all this value we get the d2 x upon d t square plus s upon m into x that is equal to 0. So these are the conditions where the we are got some equilibrium conditions and hence the period, period and natural frequency of transfer vibrations are same as that like the long terminal vibrations. Therefore, tp is equal to 2 pi under root of m upon g fn is equal to 1 upon tp is equal to 1 upon 2 pi s upon m 1 upon 2 pi g upon delta so these are the examples that we are seeing how to measure the natural frequency of the free vibrations so that's the case so it is quite easier that everybody has to go on through this concept that is a 
how to measure the natural frequency of free vibrations that i have three methods that is the equilibrium method energy method and rayleigh method so from that we got the idea about how to measure the natural frequency of free vibrations